Hi everybody, Stu, AG6AG. I want to show you a little math magic. Uh, I seem to do a lot of conversions from watts to uh, DBM and DBM back to watts and um, constantly using the math formulas and I, I kind of stumbled on a way to do it in my head uh, that's easy for me. Uh, just need to know a few basic rules. Do me a favor, if you like the video, check like and uh, subscribe. You know the story. Anyway, let's start off with the uh, DBM table here, going by tens. Now, something that we know uh, from our training as amateur radio operators, that for every 10 dB something goes up, the previous dB wattage gets multiplied by 10, okay? We also know that 30 dBm is 1 watt, okay? If you have a power rating of 30 dBm, your power and wattage is 1 watt. If you add 10 dBm to 30, you multiply that 1 watt by 10. Now, remember, this is a, you know, a linear scale, right? It's logarithmic, so... Uh, it isn't like, oh, well, if it's 5, you add uh, multiply by 5. We'll go into that a little bit in a second. But uh, as you can see, as we go down this chart, it's fairly obvious that you've got 20 dB is, a, uh, excuse me, uh, 30 dB is 1 watt, 40 dB has to be 10 watts, and 50 dB has to be 100 watts, and 60 is 1,000, and of course 70 would be 10,000, right? So it all obeys that math. Now, um, like I said, though, it's logarithmic, where we have 10 dB is 10 times if you're increasing. And by the way, it's one-tenth if you're, uh, it, it takes, uh, brings it down to the one-tenth if you're subtracting, if it's negative dB. Uh, example of that is if I go from 50 uh, dBm, which is 100 watts, down to 40 dBm, if I'm taking away that uh, uh, dBm, that 10 dBm, right? I'm basically dividing that number by 10, not multiplying it. So 100 divided by 10 is 10, okay? So it works in both directions. Notice 3 dBm two times, okay, or double. So if I was to go, uh, let's say I was going 50 dBm, and I basically added... 3 dBm and made it 53 dBm, that 100 watts, well, guess what? It would be 200 watts with adding that 3 dBm. If I was to take that 3 dBm away, I would divide it by 2, and that 100 watts would be 50 watts. Now, here are the formulas, okay? This is for reference. Uh, we're talking about not using these. We're talking about doing, you know, this quick in our head. So uh, I just put them up here so you have them. You can go ahead and grab them and save them, write them down, whatever. But in order to determine dBm from watts, you would take 10 times the log of 1,000 times your wattage, and that would give you your dBm. And you can reverse that by doing 10 to the power of your dBm divided by 10, and then you would divide it by 1,000 because it's going to give you milliwatts from that formula, okay? You divide it by 1,000, it turns it into watts, all right? Let's take a look at some real uh, questions, though. What if I had 5 watts, right? I want to figure out what I'm supposed to see when I'm hooked up to a, a spectrum analyzer in... Uh, wattage output, or excuse me, dB output, when I'm checking that radio for output? Well, fairly simple. I look at both 30 dBm and 40 dBm. 5 watts is right in the middle. Now, it wouldn't make a lot of sense to try to boost 5 watts up from 1, because, let's face it, uh, yeah, I'm going to have 1 times 2, which is 2, and then 1 times... Uh, uh, and then uh, 2 times 2, which is 4, but I get this 1 watt left over, so my calculations are going to be hard for that 1 watt. But guess what? If I choose 10 watts, I can cut that in half with 3 dB. So what happens, right? I take 
40 watts and I say, all right, so if I divide 40, right, by two, or excuse me, if I divide 100 or 10 watts, I'll get it out, guys. If I divide 10 watts by two, that gives me five. That's three dB. So minus three dB, that means that five watts equals 37 dBm. Okay? We can use the same example with 50 watts, right? We're just starting with 100 watts. We're going to cut it in half. We're going to take away 3 dBm from 50 dBm. It gives us 47 dBm, okay? Now, hey, what if I wanted to do 25 watts? Well, you know what? That's still, my goodness, I've calculated out 50 dBm, or excuse me, 50 watts at 47 dBm. You know, half of 50 is 25, so I can literally take that number, right, and remove another 3 dB from that 50, and it's a cumulative. So even cooler, now I just take 47 dBm and I subtract 3, giving me 44 dBm, which is 25 watts. Hope that makes sense. Um... One last one, I have an HT that puts out 2 watts, okay? Well, I know that 1 watt is 30 dB uh, M, and I know that if I double it, right, that's going to give me 2 watts, so to double it, I have 3 dB M, right? So 1 times 2 is 2, I take 30 plus 3, that means it at 2 watts is 33 dBm. See, we went up that time. All that simple. Um, is it uh, exactly right? No, not 100% all the time, but pretty doggone close. Uh, the 10 is always right. Uh, the jumps in 10. The 3 is a little off slightly, but not much. Uh, and again, it's, it's all math, right? It's all math. Uh, you're just doing a shortcut in your head. So with that, all I got to say is Thanks for watching. Tried to get this done as quick as I could to give you guys a short video. I hope I should see you. This is Stu AG6AG73 and hope to hear you on the air.